Welcome back to some more Warframe mod build. Mod build. Good lord. Just while I'm setting up this entire I video, because this is all pre-recorded and I'm voicing it over later. Um, this is just... Ah, this is just a... I'm on Vault build, realistically. So you just saw that I marked it to come back later. This is all solo, as you can see up in the corner. It's all completely solo. And you can see me just running around trying to get the lures to do the capture. Because capturing gives more loot, or better loot, I should say. Those devices this was actually my first Eidolon hunt in like weeks. Or even months, realistically, so... As you can see down in the corner, I do have Eclipse, and I do go over that later. That said, this build will become quickly outdated as a result of the um, Eclipse changes that DE are planning. I don't know what I'm doing here, to be entirely honest. I think I got sidetracked because I was busy that day. No, I wasn't busy that day. Me and my partner woke up late, and I was supposed to record that day. But you can see I kind of get back on track really... Not really quickly, but like relatively quickly. At this point, I'm just trying to find bomb lists to charge the lures with. So I know they spawn there, and yeah, none were there, none were around the places I checked. I think I did take. There's another lure that I pick up, but I don't think I need it. I think I actually ended up accidentally killing the one that, that like this one. I did do a hunt later. But today, as I'm voicing this over, I got a um, dual cap, which is just the terrorist and the Hauntalist. So I don't. Well, I know why I'm clearing it out. I'm trying to get to that lure on the corner. My shots were on point there. Um, I think I only need two, two lures. For, I don't know why I'm hitting it with the Sapa, but the entire build, like set build, is in this video. So we'll just pack that, and then now, I, now is around the time I start going after the terror list. Now I could do a tri cap. I could do a tri cap video as like proof, ah. but I'm not going to. So there's the Eidolon Vomplers, I'm trying to get more energy. I never run max energy even though I have Prime Flow on this build. Just because I don't... I run out of energy so quickly, casting so many shields, plus Eclipse on top of that. So now I'm trying to just charge the lures, so I can keep the thing in place. So that's the problem that I end up having is I can't charge the lures fast enough. So I'm just going to get one charge to hold the idol in place, and that's one charge. I did this in 10 minutes, which was mighty impressive to me, but this build, which I do go through later on, I like two shot the, um, the limbs, like the little parts. I don't know what, like, I think I was just trying to avoid something through it, there's like a so I heard that um, Matarai and Zenurik both have like void sling things, but it's fine. This, the amp that I'm using on my operator is the 777, which is, I don't know, I'll have to throw up on the side. I missed that shot, so I have to end up running back. I'm watching it, I don't know why I didn't jump. I cast Eclipse just as it sent me flying. So I throw two more shields up and I three shot the, that limb. Here's a trick that my friend Ben actually taught me is if you get on your K drive it actually neutralizes the magnetic um, magnetic roar that it does. Which I thought was kind of cool when I saw it. Um, charge another roar while I'm at it. So I've actually learned that I can put, I can get two, I don't know why I'm trying to do that. But um, as a result, I do, um, I miss that. 
energy spike. I advise falling back. I'm, I'm a little bit stupid. This is what I realized that I could actually uh, strip the armor. That's why I wasn't doing as much damage as I usually would. But uh, it's actually interesting watching this and like doing a like live commentary over it. But uh, these this will not be the the standard for these videos. I only do this. I had something with the pack. I was running out of time that day because again, me and my partner woke up late, and I'm just like, screw it. I'll just quickly record this, and then we can go do the thing that we need to do. But, um, so, so you'll notice that the health is all red now instead of orange. That means the shields, not the shield, the armor is just completely stripped. I'm trying to work out what, what is happening. I think I just wasn't hitting that right angle, so I go in front, uh, throw up my shields. I think I no, I don't have any energy to throw up my shields again. It was when I realized I didn't have Samiric, and I was running Madurai instead. Um, I've only still got one more charge, and I don't think I have another one charged at all during this, unless I do it later. This is when I realized that, that they had the Von Blitz at the bottom. Oh, there is my second lord. Oh, damn it, nice. I don't know exactly. I just misclicked there. I've been misclicking a lot lately. I think I just had my um, keyboard at the wrong angle. Again, I'm by no means a pro, so again, like a terrorist will usually take someone about two minutes to do, like a pro player. Someone that does them constantly, like their main. Not their main, but like their possible um, platinum farm. I'm not good enough yet, but I am working on it. This is, again, this build's going to become very outdated very soon, but it was a case of, like, I didn't have Steinax built like I had time to. Which I actually could have done instead of this video, but I'm like, it's last minute. I'm not going to throw a video last minute. It's not going to happen. Am I going to my phone? I'm going to do it last minute. I don't know where all my stuff on the gear wheel is. Good lord, this is a lag. I'm turn that down. That's um, it, As you can see, like, it's very repetitive, which is good for me, personally. Um, with Matarai, you cast your 2, you cast your 1, so you deplete all your energy on the side of the blue ring. Then you knock your shields down. You throw up the clips, you throw up the shields, and you shoot at the you shoot at the lens. And I have one shot them in the past, but it's again. Yeah, I think that was just a wrong angle. I hit the arm that time. There we go. Smaller sentients rush to the Eidolon's aid, killing it. Stop them. I don't know why I'm in my operator. This uh, I think it was just to deal with that. I grinded a while just to get a good general purpose amp, which is in fact the 777, which is the best for like DPS and whatnot, but again, as I say in the build section, I'm not going to do a proper um, operator build until I have one properly built. This is just very general purpose, nowhere near good enough. But, um, I think I've used Void Strike and Contamination Wave on Matarai for this particular build. I think this is when I realized I've actually hit the... I don't know if Void Strike actually applies to... I don't know why I threw my shields up, but I didn't need to. There we go, two more shields. So that was a four shot on the head, and that was a capture. Very good in my opinion. But, um, I just clean up the rest here, and then I end up getting back to see this, so I'll possibly end the voice over here, but, um, continue watching, I can always cut both out later. Um, check my rewards, there's not a lot, like, yeah, I just clean up the area, collecting 
the intact shards. Oh, well, not the intact. I think it's the intact shards. Those are the exceptional shards. Exceptional, which I have over a thousand of, if I recall correctly, unless it's the intact ones I'm thinking of. Very good for doing Onko. If you can get people to carry you, or even if you're in a position where you can solo it yourself, very good for maxing out Onko. Uh, that's actually how I maxed out my Onko. I hit my standing cap daily for like a week straight, and I maxed him out, which was very good. But, um, yeah, I go back to Cedars, and this is just what we load in. Um, and that's the end of that. I got an Arcane Ice, which, and I got Black Pigment because I'm researching it in the dojo, but that won't always be part of it. Anyway, back to the Orbiter. Okay, we're back in the Orbiter. And for this Vault build, it's actually pretty basic for what it is. Uh, for what we saw in those last clips, I'm going to have those first. Um, as I probably possibly mentioned, in the voiceover for last time, the clip itself is recorded beforehand. I'm voicing it over the night before it goes live. Not a lot I can do about that, unfortunately, but as is life. Um, for the build, it's pretty si a pretty standard vault build. I don't know where I found this one, but I kind of like mixed and matched a lot of Eidolon vault builds that I found for solo play. Um, we got Prime Flow for more energy, even though I don't <laughs> I don't end up having max energy at all. I can probably swap that for. Like, I don't know, I could probably swap that for like, fucking Augur Message, Stretch, Augur Reach, Augur Strength, if I get it, because I don't have it currently. I could throw Streamlined on there, I could throw really anything on there if I really wanted to. Um, I don't use Speed, I don't, I've got Eclipse on there in place of Shock. A lot of the builds that I found had it over like speed or discharge and I'm like, well, I don't use Vault for anything other than it's raining. I'm sorry if you can hear that. Again, this is recorded after the fact and I need this now to go live. Um, I, don't use, I don't use Vault for anything other than Eidolon hunting, so I'm going like, to move this closer so hopefully you won't be able to hear it. Um, so Prime Flow for more energy economy and just more energy entirely. I don't need... Um, up here it's got 855. I don't need that, but as is life. Um, prime continuity for more duration, so it hits me up to that 254 with addition of narrow minded. I'm on agility just for more armor because Vault is very frail as is. And with Eclipse in the planes, you don't ever get the 75% damage reduction, you only get. The 265.5 damage increase. That's a weird number, but I'm gonna push past it. Um, for my strength, I literally have all three of the Umbral mods, and that is all they're there for. Is the 77 strength with the entire set. But with the entire set and these lower ranked ones, I get 131, 131.4% health and 115.2% armor, as well as the tail resistance leading up to 39.6 tail resistance, which is just sentient damage, which is always handy when you're facing the Eidolons. Um, the, I've got no Archon shards on it, because I don't see the point, but for, that's the wrong one, for the Deep Archimedes game mode coming next week. Okay, that's weird. The uh, um, arcanes, I have null a uh, rank 2 nullifier, which I'm working on getting up to max. And I have arcane guardian just because I had a rank 1 laying around when I was trying to build this. And so I use it. Um, I could probably replace it for like um, something else. I don't know. <laughs> Grace, maybe? Efficiency augmented, even though you don't really get many kills. And. For the fashion, I've also got the Rubico Prime for as my shotgun. I have a ribbon, but it's kind of gone off in a sense. I've tried swapping it out, and I need to re-roll it a few times, but for the most part, you just need the radiation damage, and I'm like 2 to 3 shotting the limbs on the Terror list, and same thing for the Gaunter list. Nearly done a 2-man Hydra list with my friend Ben, but that 
never happened. We got close, but I think we killed it because we didn't have enough lures. But we did do the three, just never didn't do the tricap. Um, serration, critical delay, serration's base damage, critical delay is critical chance and fire rate. Governor's scope is crit chance while aiming and more on a headshot. I don't know what that does for me, it's just what they were saying to use. Uh, split chamber, I could probably do something else like galvanize chamber. But you don't, again, you don't get many kills to stack them. We've got Stormbringer, Hellfire, and Thermite rounds for more status chance. Well, I've got them mostly for the elementals, so Stormbringer, Hellfire, and Thermite rounds for radiation. And that gives me about a thousand extra radiation damage, which is the item I was weak to. Uh, 114 crit chance, which means fucking ice. You done? Which just means I have like a 14% chance, chance of hitting an orange crit, which it happens every now and then. Um, actually, I got a prime just because I like the semi auto fire of it and it helps deal with the Eidolon Vomvalists. Now, the Sapa is very. Sapa is very how you going. Because I have damage mods and everything on it, but I mostly use it for shattering impact. I've got. Um, Saxon Thorax for status chance and impact. Molly Prowess for status chance. Prime Fury for speed. It's just a lot of impact damage just to start proccing Shattering Impact. At one point I was doing the entire... I've got a ribbon here that I'm trying to roll for impact so I can get more impact on this thing. But um, at one point I was doing the entirety of the Eidolon armor in like three, two to three hits, but it's gone up. I don't know what that's about, but... At the end of the day, it works. It does its job, it, shred it shreds the armor entirely and makes it easier. Um, I think I forget about my Sapa because it's been a while since I've done Eidolon hunts. But when I do in the clips, I think I do eventually shred its armor with the Sapa. But that is for it for, this, for the build. Like this, I use Matarai as well, but you probably saw that. Um, it's mostly just the abilities that I use, the... What is it? I think it's the Void Strike and the Contamination Wave. So I've got... Oh, I can... I should do that more. Same with that one. But, um... I don't have an... I won't do an Eidolon build for... An Eidolon Operator build yet, because there's no point. But I do run the 7-7 Amp. That is something I should mention now, in case I don't mention it before. But, um... Yeah. For the fashion, as of... I've got three different ones, that, I've got two different ones that I like to run. Wow, rain. I'm sorry for that if you can hear it in the background. Hopefully, me talking so close will limit it. I, I, as we know, I like my red and black, my red, blacks, and golds. So, I've got the, I've got the PlayStation IV pack, pack, because if you didn't know, I started my Warframe videos over on PlayStation. I had to think about that for a second. So I've got like the blackest black from that palette, but it's also in the smoke palette, which is the blackest black there. I've got the this red from the Halloween pack palette, which you could probably easily change for like a um a dark just any dark red. You could probably do it from the storm palette, but it's a little bit too dark. Didn't have that right shade. You could probably do it from closest one you already got is this one from the Valentine pack, like, if you have it, because Valentine's Day only just passed, a couple, like, last month. Um, I've got the two golds from the Auric palette, we know I like this palette. Uh, this is before I started using golds as my emissive and energy colors, but I've got the, this blue from the Eminence pack, palette, and the same thing for this, and I've got a very light red from the Halloween palette. Nope, it's in color saturated. Which I think is also on the Halloween palette. Nope, it is not. Is there any other palette that has this? No. But as for that, what no sign Dana. I was testing one. I run the Fey Path Ephemera, which I should probably just fit the fit the theming, go to the Idol on one, though I use the Titania uh Noble one, because that's the only one that I bought because I liked it. I have the Vault. I have the standard vault ones. So I think, I, yeah, I've got the standard vault armor pieces because I just prefer them. But that said, I also have this 
um, Evangelion Unit 1, because if you, if you don't know my channel very well, I absolutely adore Evangelion, and I have thought about doing um, a video on one of the visual novels, but I decided against it because it's too much effort. I could do the primed ones, but it doesn't exactly work too well. I like this nice, sleek look. And that's the reason why I have the Emirates palette. With the, the screen from the Infested palette, like, oh, I'll, I can do a separate video on this, which I possibly will do. But, um, as for that, I also use the capacity, is it? I use the Arrestor helmet, that's like the only difference. But, um, as for that, I will see you guys in the next build video, which will be Star Next next week, despite what I said in my Subnautica video. Because I didn't have Star Next built in time, and then my friend Ben came in clutch, and I already had the first part of this video done. Anyway, I'll see you guys in the next one. See you.